Hey, my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, if you are a subscriber, welcome back. So this is gonna be a quick love message for you guys. Let's see what's going on with you guys in love and relationships. And let's get into it, okay? Holy Spirit, please give me clear and accurate messages for the Libra Collective. Thank you so much for continuing guys to support the section. I pray that no one from the gifts that shall prosper. Any evil by negative energy spell work being sent this way. I ask this return to center tenfold and I'll transmute it into more positive energy. I say amen. Um, any information you guys need about me will be in the description box if you want to book a personal. All of that information is below. Thank you guys for your likes, shares, your subscribes. Thank you for your donations, your bookings. I really, really appreciate you guys, okay? It's for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anywhere that you have Libra in your chart, you may resonate with this reading. Cross Watchers, what it do? For Libra. What does Libra need to know when it comes to love and relationships? At this current moment, what does Libra need to know when it comes to love and relationships? At this current moment, some of you may get an unexpected message from a third party or from somebody. I don't know. Some of you are fearing, I heard fearing a connection. I'm hearing the feelings are so strong, you're fearing this connection. Okay. What's the messages for Libra? For Libra. I'm hearing, <laughs> yeah, that song, Her Heart is, Shawty, Heart is on Steroids, or Her Love is So Strong, okay? Okay, Ooh, damn, y'all see how this slid right there? Just all smooth and shit. Somebody having some type of anxiety. I heard weakness. Uh, something about a weakness. All right, so Libra, there could be a storm warning coming. There, you got um obstacles, upheaval, wrecking about some drama here going on. All right, something um about timing. You could be seeing. I feel like I'm feeling like it's time for something to come to an end. Here is what I'm seeing here. Okay, because you could have been getting signs and synchronicities. Sides from the universe, from spirit, um, that you have been ignoring, okay? And I feel like divine intervention, the universe is stepping in because there's something that you guys have been warned about that you needed to maybe end because the storm warning does give me, um, I'm hearing water vibes. I don't know why I'm saying that. Well, I mean, there's water right here, but um, so you've been dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio or uh, you can have these in your chart, okay? But um, yeah, the storm warning card is like the tower energy, okay? Um, tower moment, tower, something coming to an end, a sudden shocking moment or realization or, you know, whatever. Somebody is stressing out uh, yep, about some choice that they made here, okay? Could be you, could be somebody in your energy. Somebody is stressing out over something that they did here and they were regretted. They want to apologize. They felt like they made the wrong choice. I don't know. Somebody could have. Somebody could just regret drinking too much. I don't know. We 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 are. Hold on, I heard party weekend. We are in a. Uh, what do you call it? Holiday, holiday weekend. So maybe you guys, you know, gonna regret drinking too much. Maybe you know, you turn up and you know you get a hangover in the morning. Okay, maybe that's what it is, but. That's for somebody specific. I, um, it, or somebody could regret doing something after drinking too much. Maybe you slept with somebody or text somebody or called somebody. You should have called or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, somebody's having, somebody's stressed out about some type of choice that they made here. <sighs> yeah, somebody's hiding something. All right. Let's see. Top of the deck. Yep, that fear. Fear. Somebody may want to take a chance, take a leap of faith with you uh, and come towards you to reconcile, Libra. Somebody may be traveling towards you or there's somebody at a distance from you who wants to reconcile. Maybe they're going to take a leap of faith here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody may be coming to your home. Yeah, somebody, 
Somebody's doing some drinking and thinking, okay? Libra, I don't know if this is you or this is somebody about you, but somebody is doing some drinking and thinking. And I'm feeling like it's this person that you're either at a distance with or you're not talking to this person. This is the person who wants to reconcile. Maybe they're drinking and thinking about uh, taking a leap of faith and coming towards you here, okay? Hmm. Somebody wants to say something to you or make you a love offer here, but I feel like whoever this person is, they're in player energy. Somebody's going to come to you wanting, uh, oh, and these are general messages. Y'all take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? Don't know if I said that. Um, somebody's going to come and say something to you. It says propose, but a proposal could be anything. This could be somebody asking you out on a date. This could be somebody asking you, you know, to be in a relationship or whatever. But that, but ye, I don't know if you don't trust this person or you shouldn't trust this person. They're sitting in some player energy and there's something that they're not telling you that they're not saying with the read between the lines here, okay? They're being, they're saying like, yeah, I want a relationship with you, but in, you know, they could also be saying this to other people or another person, they could be, um, you know, just sitting in this player energy. So I don't know. Be careful with that if you're dealing with that. Okay. Yeah, there's divine intervention here. I said something about that. Somebody could be getting karma for something that they did here. There's a, okay, with the friends here, there could be a friend. who feels like they have unfinished business with you or somebody feels like there's some unfinished business here. With somebody. Ooh. Okay, for somebody, you're making... <laughs> I'm hearing, I've been making plans for you. 717, I just saw... Was this on the timer? Um, you're going to get a communicate. You could be talking to somebody new after a breakup. So either you're going to, you're breaking up with somebody. That's could be what this storm warming, storm warning is or this divine intervention here. Okay. Um, you could be walking away from somebody, you know, and then you're talking to somebody new or either somebody new that you've been talking to could or will be talking to could have recently gone through a breakup or somebody new that you may feel like is new love may turn out to be not the one and you may be walking away from this person, okay? So I don't know. Take whatever part of that resonates with you. If somebody um, had you in a third party or if there was a third party involved with some situation here that somebody had feelings for, those feelings have changed. Now, I, it could change for the better or they could change for the worse, okay? This is giving me growth here. So somebody could have, somebody has more feelings for a third party person or for another person than they're telling you about, okay? Somebody or either or either this person has more feelings for your person than you know about or something is there's a connection here that's with so, where somebody has stronger feelings than they're letting on or somebody's feelings for another person are starting to grow i just heard toxic relationship though Some of you may feel like it's time intuitively to let a situation go. That's where we're back. Okay, Spirit says stop right there. Because we're back to where we started from, okay? <laughs> so somebody feels like it's time to let go of a situation, okay? And I, and I feel like you're feeling this intuitively. You're knowing this, okay? You're seeing the signs and the synchronicities. Um, Spirit has been warning you. The universe has been warning you, showing you messages like let the situation go. But intuitively, it's like you know this, but you're ignoring the signs. You're ignoring the warnings. You're ignoring the nudges, okay? Um, so I don't know. This person may end up ghosting you 
or there's going to be some type of divine intervention here that is going to, you know, shake you awake and be like, listen, didn't I tell you, right? Um, also, somebody could be blocking a friend request or deleting a friend request or ignoring a friend request from somebody or ignoring somebody's like messages online. Somebody could be sliding your DMs. Also, somebody who ghosted you could be spying on you if you thought... If you, if there's somebody who walked away from you, who ghosted you, um, or something like that, and you think that this person is fine on your social media, they are, okay? Um, or they have been, or just for, said, for some of you, they still are, okay? Um, yeah. All right, let me get something for this, and then I'm going to close this out. You know what? Let me use these. Okay. The Libra, love and relationships. The Libra. See, look, divine timing. Trust in divine time. Divine timing out here. Okay, somebody, somebody's sitting in their ego and their pride. Somebody's very egotistical, very prideful. Maybe this is from the person that you need to walk away from. Maybe this is some energy that you yourself need to walk away from. Okay, take it how it resonates for you. Yep, see, I was just thinking South Node when I saw Ego, and here it is, past. Somebody's clinging on to the past here, all right? So I don't know if it's the past holding on to you, Libra. I don't know if it's you holding on to the past. But something, I feel like it's time to let it go. And if you don't let it go then, um, you know, there's going to be, Spirit's going to step in. There's going to be some divine intervention. All right. Can I get a card for divine timing? Why is divine timing here? Why is divine timing here? A Libra? Why is divine timing here? I just saw 12 12. It may be time for you guys to meet your soulmate, and you're there's there's some blockages here, okay? I oh, don't see masculine energy. What was that? Hold on, I'm gonna get that card, y'all. Shit, damn, bottom of the deck, it got commitment and <laughs> contracts and career. So, masculine water, didn't I say somebody could be dealing with a water sign? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you can have it in your chart. There's a masculine energy who could be a water sign who maybe wants to commit to you or who regrets, well, damn, who regrets not committing to you, okay? I feel like um, maybe your guides are like guiding you toward this person or guiding this person toward you, something about the autumn. Yeah, let's see, didn't I say? Twin flame and divine timing. See, in the autumn, for some of you, it's time for you to come into union with your twin flame, okay? With your person. And yeah, I feel like spirit is trying, you have to make room for this person. Yeah, ancestor guides. And then this is you, Libra, your energy right here. You're, you're being guided. <sighs> but I feel like you're just ignoring the signs. Yep, completion. Something needs to be over here, all right? And you're ignoring the signs because I feel like either this could be, you could be needing to end something with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this is who's coming in for you, okay? A water sign, or you have water in your chart, but you got masculine that fell out here right with the water sign. So what do we need to know about this? See, divine timing keeps popping up. Um, child, what is this trying to come out? Damn, conflict and triggers. I want to know about this masculine. Hold on, guys. Um, yeah, somebody is just mm, mm -hmm. somebody may be going through an awakening or they need to go through an awakening or they're about to. Okay, I keep hearing a catalyst for change. So something's going to happen or something has happened that's caused growth, regeneration. Um, I, I saw transformation a couple of times in the deck. Uh, I want to know about this masculine water sign because I'm really feeling like it's a masculine water sign.
What do we need to know? What does Libra need to know about this masculine water sign? What does Libra need to know about this masculine water sign? Please and thank you. Um, guys, if you're interested in your other placements, all right, um, I'm not going to post all of them here on this channel like I did before. Check out my other channel, The Esoteric Empress 444. I will try to remember to link it in the below, in the below, in the description below, okay? But if you're interested in your in other placements or other placements of your person or whatever, then I will be doing all signs on that channel, The Esoteric Empress 444, okay? And also this reading will be on there too. All right, so what do we need to know about this masculine? Water sign. Ooh, well, Zam. What the heck? Wow. Is somebody from your past? Six of Cups fell upright, looking right at me on the floor. It's somebody from your past. Six of Cups. That's coming back in. Wow. Three of Wands. Is this somebody you've been manifesting, Libra? Or somebody who's been manifesting you? The travel here, they 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 want to travel toward you, or somebody's thinking about traveling toward you here. Well, damn. Anything else we need to know about this? Could be a Scorpio. <laughs> okay. Anything else we need to know about this? Um. And this person, they don't have to be a water sign. It could be any sign, but they may have water in their chart. Okay. Anything else we need to know about this masculine? I don't know. I don't like how this masculine is hiding though. Like how you can't see his face. That's a little weird. I don't know. I don't like how you can't see his face. Hmm. See, Eight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords in reverse. So, if there was a decision that needed to be made, the Two of Swords in reverse talks about a decision being made here, okay? Eight of Swords is somebody who's in their head mentally. So somebody is thinking. So this may be somebody from your past who's thinking about you a lot or who you have been thinking about a lot here. And if it's somebody you've been thinking about, you probably manifesting this person and don't even know it. <laughs> Maybe some of you are doing it on purpose. I don't know. Or this person is manifesting you and don't even know it like that. Okay. Um, they're like they're being drawn to your energy for some reason. It's definitely so it could be a Scorpio, Gemini. Uh, maybe another Libra or that's just your energy. Uh, could be a Cancer, I mean a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay, as well. This person is coming in with an offer here. See, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know if, if, like, you don't trust this person or maybe this Ten of Swords could just be representing an ending. Maybe they're ending something elsewhere because you got the Ace of Cups here with the Magician. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. I really feel like this is somebody that you guys have been manifesting, okay? Two of Pentacles, I, I just saw. You could be, yeah, okay. Let's see what this Storm Morning is. What's the Storm Morning for Libra? What's the storm on here for Libra? Why storm on here? Using your intuition, clarity at the bottom. Intuition, why? Well, damn. Something about the summer could be significant here. You got growth showing up here again. Somebody to, uh, and this could this, uh, simply be somebody who. Um, like I said, it's going through an awakening of some kind here, okay? It could be you or it could be uh, whoever this this is about. What else? What do we need to know about the storm morning? See, union. See, yeah, then I, there's a union that's going to grow. Somebody wants... Some, <laughs> so... Yeah, if this is somebody who's going through like a dark night of the soul, maybe they're walking away from a third party or leaving a third party. Maybe, like I said, when I was saying about the third party, somebody has more feelings than they're admitting. Um, this could be this person who has more feelings for you than they were admitting to themselves here, okay? Um, and this person may want to come in uh, and apologize here. 
Yeah, facade. See, they're acting like they don't want to apologize. They're acting like they don't want to, um, you know, like they don't think about you. Like they don't want to be in this union. Like they don't want this reunion here. Okay, they're closed off and guarded. This person is trying to control. Yep, you got that distance showing up again. So this is somebody that is at a distance from you or somebody that you're not talking to. Okay, um, but this person is trying to control how how they feel. They're trying to control the the situation. It's like in denial almost. Like, yeah, I don't feel that way about Libra. Like, I don't care about Libra. I don't care about that situation. But I feel like they're just in denial. Like, or they've been in denial here. But now I feel like this person wants to apologize. Okay. Somebody could have a neck tattoo. Okay. Like a really nice beard, whoever this is. They could be real good looking, honey. Somebody could have a rose tattoo or like some type of tattoo on their hand here. Yeah, I also feel like this person, if they are in another uh, relationship, I, yeah, I'm kind of feeling like that's fake or either like they don't feel the way that they once felt about that person anymore or something about that relationship. It's like not. Nah, mm -mm. Let me see. Can I get more for this storm money? Can I get more about this storm morning? Something about the summer is significant. There could be growth in this in this union during the summer. See that conflict and triggers came out. Mm. I'm getting this is somebody that you are in separation from or that you will be separating from if this is somebody that you're currently dealing with. See, yeah, rebirth. The winter, I'm telling you, somebody's going through a spiritual awakening, a change here with the growth in the summer and then the rebirth in the winter. Okay, so, yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I was just about to say, you may hear from this person, but I don't feel like it's going to be into the summertime. They're going to spend their, I mean, to the wintertime because they're dealing with a lot of triggers and conflict and everything like that. Like I said, if they're in a union already, or either this is somebody who you are currently in a union with, but either way, somebody's dealing with some conflicts and triggers in, the, in a union right now, that some type of disharmony, disconnection here, that um, is gonna trigger them to go through this, this change. I don't know what this storm war warning is going to be here, but whatever it is, um, it's, it's triggering somebody to go through a change and to grow here. Okay. What do we need to know about this union storm warning? What do we need to know? Some of you could be dealing with the, oh my God, some of you could, <laughs> the lovers, some of you could be dealing with a Leo or a Gemini here. Okay. Again, twin flame energy or, or divine counterpart of your person, whatever you want to call this person with the lovers card showing up. Okay. What do we need to know about this? storm warning as it relates to this you oh shit look at that man two of cups oh that's a lot okay that's a lot two of cups on the top king of swords the sun the star ten of swords queen of wands ace of cups see there's there's definitely third party energy here okay now there's a relationship here there's something that's going to come to light here. And I feel like whatever that is, it probably has something to do with the third party. And that's because you got the Ten of Swords here, which talks about a betrayal. You've got, yeah, I'm getting third party energy. Ace of Cups, new love. Um, I don't know. Pick which side of it your own. Either you're dealing with something that's going to, um, there's going to be a betrayal and there's going to be like a big blow up or ending or something like that here. Or... Somebody needs to speak some type of truth about something, child. This is crazy. I just feel like I don't know because I don't know what side of this you're on, Libra. I just feel like somebody's going to find out about a betrayal and then boom, new love comes in. Excuse me. Yeah, somebody's going to like find out about a betrayal. There's going to be an ending and then boom, Ace of Cups, new love come in. Like we saw with that new love energy, okay? that I was talking about earlier. 
So if you resonated with that part, then this part could be for you, okay? Tell me about signs and synchronicities. I feel like the universe wants you to take a leap of faith here, okay? They want you to take a leap of faith. There's new opportunities coming in, and if you don't take the leap of faith, then you may regret it, okay? North Node showing up here. You're somebody who's walking in your purpose. Yeah, I'm talking to a divine feminine or a masculine, okay? They're just energies here, okay? You can be a divine feminine or a masculine here, but you are coming into union. You got unity here. Somebody, you guys could have been coming out of a dark night of the soul type situation here. Another one. <laughs> What's the sign of synchronicities card? Why is it here? Rebirth. Still on the bottom of the deck. Why is that here? Signs of synchronicities. What is the universe trying to tell me, bro? See? They're trying to tell you to trust your intuition. Clarity. Use your third eye. Okay? You're, I'm telling you, you've been getting clear signs, clear as day, Libra. Or you will. Yes. See? Distance. Your, your, these signs maybe to, again, like we first started off, be telling you that you need to distance yourself uh, from somebody or a situation. There's, there's a need to retreat, take some time out from a person, okay, or a situation. And like I said, intuitively, you know this. And look, both of your energies are coming out here. Venus and the karma card. These are your energies. Libra. Yeah, this is your energy. Yeah, you need to distance yourself from whatever. If if you guys are still here, you know exactly what this is because I'm talking to someone who's intuitive. Again, with that water coming out here, that could be the water um can talk about being very intuitive as well. So, yeah, I'm you know that it's time to distance somebody cuz like I said, as soon as you distance yourself um, from whatever this person or situation is, you got offer here. Boom, there's new love, like I said. Boom, there's a tree here. <laughs> but you're lacking, you're doubting, you're doubting your intuition, Libra. You're you're seeing the storm one, see? And that could be you again with that. Oh, so if this isn't a masculine, this could be another masculine energy. This could be you. This could be bo uh, you and whoever your person is mirroring each other. Because they're, you both have your face. Uh, <sighs> the storm is there. We got the storm warning out here. The storm is taking place, but... This person is not looking at it. They're not seeing it. They're covering their face here, covering their eyes, wearing rose-colored glasses. Look, right here, same type of energy here, okay? This, wow. This, see, didn't I say you guys were mirroring each other? Like, I know this is the ancestor guy's card, but the masculine and the feminine energy right here. The masculine has his eyes covered, blinded to the fact, not really paying attention to the signs and the synchronicity. So, this could be a masculine energy who's doing this, okay? Um... And then the feminine energy is she has her eyes closed. It's like the both of you are ignoring the storm warnings and the signs and the synchronicities. Like, what the f <laughs> You and your person are mirroring each other. You are both, you both hear the thunder. And look, that's the same damn tree. Like, I'm telling you, you're mirroring each other. That is the same freaking scenario. He's got his face covered. She's got her eyes closed. But I don't know. She could be meditating or something because there's some, some energy going on here. It looks like she like her hands are in like a prayer type of thing. She could be meditating. So this could be you manifesting this person. I don't know what the hell y'all got going on here, Libra. This is crazy. Yeah, because I feel like you, you have gone through an awakening, Libra. Um, you've gone through an awakening and I feel like this, the universe is trying to push your person wherever he or she may be out there. Cause you guys aren't together. There's distance here showing up twice. So you're not talking to this person. You're not together. Yeah. The universe is trying to push this person to take action, but they are just blind to the fact child. They, they just eyes and can't see like what, <laughs> what do we need to know about the size of the synchronicities? Lord. 
do we need to know about the sign of the synchronicities? I see the eight of wands. There could be communication coming in. Uh, again, that may be the signs from the universe. The universe is really trying to get you or your person's attention or the both of you. Okay? What do we need to know about the signs and the synchronicities here when it comes to Libra? What is Libra? What do we need to know? Six of Pentacles, okay. This is, <laughs> I heard shopping, shopping sprees and things like that. But the Six of Pentacles this talks about giving, equal give and take here, okay. Somebody wanting to give you something, reciprocity here, okay. Six of Swords, wow. Moving, moving ahead. Yeah, the universe is like, this is from the universe. We're clarifying signs and synchronicities, uh, messages from the universe. The universe is like, and you got the offer here. The Six of Pentacles talks about giving something. The Six of Swords talks about um, moving on, moving up. You see this person is moving up. The universe is like Libra here. We're trying to give you something. Like, why take it? We're trying to move you forward. We're trying to elevate you. We're trying to give you what you, you're steady asking and manifesting. And we're trying to give it to you. But open your eyes, Libra. Pay attention to the signs. Or this is like them. This is your person. This could be how they're trying to push your person here. Yeah, three of swords. Healing. Three of swords in the reverse. Oh, and the will of fortune. Destiny. Uh, Listen, yep, but before you can get this, you have to walk away from something. Look, there you are, Libra, Queen of Swords. You have to walk away from something in order for this offer to come in. Yep, there's the tower. There's the tower. Something needs to come to an end. Ten of Wands, wow. In order for you to have this new beginning, okay? Go outside and talk to the universe, man. Connect with the universe. Like, she, the universe is trying to give you the world. It's right there, but you, you're still in a daze. You're not looking universe is like hey hello libra earth to libra three of wands what you've been manifesting <sighs> all right libra i hope this message helped i'm gonna leave it right here i you know what You're telling me to get some tea leaves dang i did not want this to be this long all right let me wrap it up with some tea leaves Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. For Libra. For Libra. Why am I hearing something about Johnny Appleseed, child? Could be a woman. You could be a Libra woman. Somebody could be pregnant or finding out that they're pregnant. Libra. Libra. Wow. Oh, that said March on the bottom. I thought that said marriage. All right, Libra. You, you will be taken care of in difficult times, Libra. Universe like, trust us. We got your back. You will be taken care of. You have major challenges to overcome and pay attention to your health. So someone may have major health, health challenges to overcome. Um, that could be specific. It, uh, it could be you or it could be somebody in your environment here. Okay. Um, somebody could also walk with a cane. I don't know why. I just got something about a broken leg. Okay. But somebody could walk with a cane or they need a cane to walk or something like that. But I feel like somebody is going to have major challenges to overcome when it comes to their health here. Okay. October. This could be October. This could have something to do with an October Libra or uh, a Scorpio. Yeah, somebody needs your help. Yeah, I don't feel like this is you, um, Libra. I don't feel like this is you that need that overcoming the health challenges. I feel like this is um somebody in your energy or somebody that you know again you got libra out here october libra so it could be you it could be another libra or it could be a scorpio um but i feel like somebody's gonna need your help or your assistance with something and like i said i don't know why i was getting broken leg but maybe uh, i hope this is not a prediction that somebody breaks their leg child <laughs> But, um, yeah, somebody's going to need a help, like some type of help or assistance here, okay? Somebody could also work in the medical field. You could be like a nurse or something. Okay, you got good fortune coming in, though, and then you have vacation, okay? Some of you may be taking a vacation soon here. 
you could be seeing like um beetles and ladybugs and things like that those are like sign of good luck here especially if they land on you like a ladybug lands on you yeah you guys are going to be celebrating some type of enjoyment i mean some type of uh, yeah well yeah some type of celebration or fun or something like that here you could be going on a nice fun vacation okay you have february showing up here something about february somebody could be uh an aquarius or a pisces oh um, got love look at the love <laughs> Where's the love? Where's the love? The love, the love. Some of you could be dealing with an older man when it comes to love. I, I was about to say meeting, so some of you could be meeting an older man. Here, let me do one more shuffle because I feel like that was. Bleh. All right, Libra. Okay, January could be significant. Um, you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or da, 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 what is it? Capricorn or what? Aquarius? Yeah. All right. Or you could have these in your chart. Something about January could be significant. Maybe you're going on some type of vacation in January. Okay. It's so a path with money is waiting on you to find it. I know that's right. <laughs> Libra. See, you will be playing a different role soon. For some of you, this may be marriage. Okay, you got this hand out here. So some of you, somebody may be asking for your hand in marriage. Um, yeah, I don't know if y'all can even see that. Uh, there's the hand. But somebody may be asking for your hand in marriage. You will be playing a different role. Um, this could have something to do with business as well. Okay, with your job, your career. So take it how it resonates for you. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Um, it says, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Also, picking up on Leo energy. Um, stay in your ground. Somebody may try you, Libra, okay? Like, they may try to get under your skin, uh, get you to, like, I don't know, make you angry or something. Don't don't let nobody try you, Libra, shit. It said, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Like, y'all know. Don't let nobody try you, Libra. Somebody may try it, though, but you're going to have to show them. Some of you have Taurus in your chart. Some of you can have a Taurus moon or rising. Yep, look. Wow, tower, solid foundations built with uh, success and effort. And then you have depression, anxiety, worry that someone is working against you. Mm. Yeah, if you're trying to build something, build an empire, build a relationship, build a family, build yourself, work on yourself. There's people around you who, you know, it's like don't want to see that happening you know haters they're haters or fans whatever you want to call them don't worry about them don't worry about them a distant friend is thinking of you okay so i'm gonna leave the message here libra i hope this helped i'll see y'all in the next one okay bye